Definitely recommend the yak. It's called Himalayan Wild Yak. Can't not get a yak meal when you come to Himalayan Wild Yak. You heard? Virginia is for grubbers. We are back again with another Old Fashioned Friday. I'm the Old Fashioned King, and today we're here in Ashburn, Virginia, AKA Brambleton, Virginia. I still to date don't know if Ashburn and Brambleton are the same, or if it's separate, or if maybe it's just neighborhood of Ashburn, or if it's like its own thing, because it kind of seems like its own thing, but I don't know. We did it like our fifth or sixth episode in Ashburn at Asso, which is actually, you could walk to Asso in 45 seconds from this place. Today we're at Himalayan Wild Yak. Asso actually had one of the highest rated old fashions to date, which is huge. So we came back to Brambleton to check this new place out. Again, Himalayan wild yak. You see the yak behind me? Big old yak right there. One of the things I wanna start doing when we do these OFs is incorporating some other information besides the old fashioned, whether it's another cocktail or it's the food. Last week, we put you on to the pizza that the White Rabbit Gastro Pub just won an international award for. So this week, what I wanna do is introduce you to yak. So here we have the yak. I mean, yeah, it just looks like regular steak. Here we go. But uh, we're gonna add that into the, today's review and then we're also gonna start to incorporate another food item or another cocktail item in all of the reviews. You guys know how this works. Zero to three on appearance, first sip, overall taste, zero through one on overall ambiance. Here we have the cocktail itself. If you guys can see this. Awesome size glass, pretty glass giant, massive cube, possibly the biggest cube I've ever seen. Not clarified ice, but it was a massive, massive cube. Nice little orange peel, and they smoked it. We already know I'm a sucker for the smoke, the presentation. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I try to stay around the 2.5 area if you're not using clarified ice, because I want to encourage as many places as humanly possible to invest in clarified ice. But again, this is the biggest regular cloudy cube, if you will, that I've ever seen. And again, the smokiness and the nice glass gonna go 265 off of appearance and we'll get into this first sip again smoky old-fashioned price point of $14 however if you come during their happy hour which I believe I'm here during happy hour $10 price point that's a steal I don't know if we, I don't know if we've ever done a $10 old-fashioned or not but that's a steal especially for an old-fashioned where the majority of it is just straight liquor brother yeah let's jump into this first sip here we go clean extremely clean unbelievably smooth zero burn definitely taste the smokiness it's not overbearing but you definitely taste it i'm gonna say maybe it's a pinch a little bit too much smoke maybe pull up the smoke a little earlier but it's 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 good this tastes the way a smoky old-fashioned should taste if i'm gonna do any kind of critique i would say it's possibly on the sweeter side and that's coming from me who actually prefers for old fashions to be on the sweeter side as, as opposed to being too spicy or too strong where you get the burn of the bourbon so if you're not a fan of sweet you might come here and be like oh this is way too sweet for me so i'm just saying it's a tad bit too sweet but insanely clean insanely smooth and you get a nice touch of the smokiness. I'm gonna go 275. We'll get into this overall. Let's talk about the restaurant itself. Himalayan Wild Yak. Uh, this place, I forget what it used to be, but I was here before it was the old place. But they renovated the whole place. They got a nice little bar, huge dining area, which I'm in right now. Beautiful, uh, like, like paintings of the Yak. They got a nice TV here. I guess, you know, when the football games start coming on next month, post the football game up there. They got a nice little lounge area as well, right next to the bar. And they also have outdoor seating, like plenty, plenty of outdoor seating. I found out about it by one of our uh, followers and supporters recommended it to me via DM on Instagram or Facebook. I can't remember which one and told me to come check it out. So we definitely want to get the word out for other people to come check it out because this is good man overall ambiance we're gonna go 0.9 out of one 0.9 out of one very consistent again it's not clarified ice but you still like the ice is still held up to that size so it was a massive cube i'm gonna go 2.7 overall taste and the side taste of the yak here we go Yak is good. Is it like over the top good? Like I wouldn't say that. It's definitely good. Solid yak. Definitely recommend the yak. It's called Himalayan Wild Yak. Can't not get a yak meal when you come to Himalayan Wild Yak. You heard? Also, 
if you're noticing, we have these tees for sale. Virginia Grubbers, all black vibe of these tees for sale. You can DM me or leave a comment below if you're interested in one of these. These are great, super soft, unbelievably comfortable. Definitely like a solid shirt to wear to the gym. They're like super tight on the arms. So if you're like getting a little pump going, you know what I mean? Or a little bit, you know what I mean? Definitely recommend that. We also have the tan vibes. Smaller Virginia Grubbers logo. And then the back, which I never get to show because I'm always wearing it. Old fashioned king on the back with all the ingredients, the correct ingredients on there. Tan old fashioned king tees and then the black Virginia Grubber tees for sale. So yeah, that's that. I don't remember what the score is. Himalayan Wild Yak, Virginia is for Grubbers, Brambleton, AKA Ashburn, Virginia. Virginia is for Grubbers. Cheers guys.